Hi, this is Jim from uh, CableSupply.com and also Nova Voice and Data Systems in Southern California. And uh, what we're looking at right now is, is uh, the drywall um, is up on one side of this wall, but not on the inside here. And a lot of cablers think that's the ideal way to cable, but it's not. And the reason why it's not is because the cable, and I'll show you here, uh, has to be attached somehow um, to the metal I-beams and uh, there's a possibility that if the cable comes a little loose and ends up like this on the I-beam when they come with the drywall on top they can pinch that cable and drywallers aren't going to be looking for your cable so this adds extra steps when you're trying to get down uh, to pull your cable uh, and put it in the right location now you can see here this is this is called a plaster ring and the contractors have added this and the drywall people go on top of that and you often call this the ring and string um, and sometimes they'll put conduit and they'll put it all the way up to the top and when they put it all the way up to the top and just stop it right there maybe about a foot above the top that's called a stub out and the easiest way to cable these this ring and string is fine and the stub out is fine um, notice that in this there's absolutely no fire breaks. In the wooden construction you have fire breaks that go across here. Uh, wood construction and not uh, regular construction. But in most commercial construction you have these metal beams with holes in the top and it's fairly easy to drop cable down to the location where you need it. And once the drywall's up on both sides it's real easy and you don't have to worry about the cable being pinched. And uh, that's pretty much what you need to know about drywall and uh, the ideal time the cable of course pre-cable is uh, you bring the cable in after the drywall's up on both sides and then when they after they're done painting and laying carpet then you do what's called set finish which is add the jacks and you test to make sure everything's working it, it's pretty easy to cable a commercial building like this um, it's the wood buildings that are difficult or those who don't have drop ceilings Again, this is uh, Jim from CableSupply.com and Nova Voice and Data Systems. And all this equipment that you see that we're using here is uh, equipment that we sell on CableSupply.com and are parts that we sell on CableSupply.com. We, we don't sell you what we don't use. So if you need quality tested equipment and uh, parts, please go to our website and we're more than happy to help you. Thank you.